There's only one Anders Feldlind from Denmark, an honorary Magum who must be one of the most loyal fans of the lads. Anders lives in the little Danish town of Nykobing but this 47-year-old father of four and granddad of four has been a black cat since he was 11, when he can, he travels the 1,115 miles from his hometown to watch the team in action. His love for SAFC just keeps on growing and he gets over to Wearside every year to roar Jack Rouse's side on. But now, he has gone even further. After a holiday in Bulgaria where he called into a tattoo shop, he's shown his passion for the team on his arm. A striking tattoo reads, I may be Danish but I'm Sunderland till I die. Anders said, I've got a few, including my kids and grandkids but I would love one more. I want to get the Sunderland logo done, he's red and white through and through and Anders, who works for a medical firm, said, I was 11 years old when I first started supporting Sunderland with my friend Kim, all our friends were supporting the usual teams like Liverpool and Arsenal, but we wanted to support someone else. We opened a book with posters in and it came out at Sunderland. We decided to support them. It started out as a fun thing in the beginning but now it is very serious. You must have to be a masochist to support Sunderland, his very first visit to the Stadium of Light was for a 2-1 win against Birmingham in the season when Sunderland cast all opposition aside to win the championship in 1998-1999, his favorite visit to the Sol was for the 10's 3-2 win over Burnley when Carlos Edwards scored a screamer to win the match. He saw Stan Varga make a stylish debut for Sunderland against Arsenal and he'll be back later this season for the Easter clash with Doncaster Rovers. Niall Quinn was his favorite player in the early days but these days, he loves the passion and commitment of Lee Cattermole, people have different opinions of him, but he puts his heart and soul into it, said Anders who is a bit of a lucky charm for the lads. He's been to see his heroes play 13 times and only seen them lose twice. His boyhood friend Kim Sorensen has been eight times and never seen Sunderland defeated. His love for the Black Cats has now been passed on to his children but Anders remains a huge Sunderland fan himself. And he has a message for other followers of Stuart Donald's Red and White Army, you are lucky that you can get to watch your team all the time. I would give my right arm to see Sunderland every week, we have the right owners and I am fully behind them. My dream, of course, is that we get back into the Premier League, is Anders Sunderland's most committed fan, or do you know different? Get in touch with your stories of SAFC followers who have gone to extreme lengths to follow the team. Email chris.cordner at jpamedia.co.uk